Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? So here we are. Today we are doing a very simple element, an RMC stall. You can see this is a really tall and long one, but this is quickly becoming one of my favorite elements on a ride. I've been on at least two of them so far, uh, on Joker at Discovery Kingdom and Goliath at uh, Six Flags Raid America, and I really love this element. So I decided to go ahead and show you how it's done in uh, FED. And for a quick uh, reference, I also did the Untamed uh, sort of outer bank turn to the lift hill at the very beginning. So once we get up to the top here, you'll see I just did a really quick sort of a Goliath-esque ride here. I wasn't really going for anything too perfectly RMC-ish, but I just wanted to get set up so that the stall would be under the lift hill because I really like that element on uh, Goliath quite a bit. So this is pretty easy to do, as you can imagine. If you can do a zero G roll, you can definitely do an RMC stall. There's not much to it. You just create a zero G hill and then you just create the rolls. So if we go and look at the force of this graph, let me just hold on here and make this smaller. You'll see like a lot of uh, elements like this, it's very symmetrical in terms of what happens in the roll. So let's get out of the POV and come over here and look at it. Uh, you will have to fool around with this a little bit. This one's not 100% perfect. Uh, it looks a little bit wonky, I think, from the side. I could probably do a better job, but I just wanted to create something that would go under the lift right there. So uh, you will have to fool around with it a little bit. The curving and or the, the roll tends to cause the stall to sort of wander off to the side, but what negates that seems to be putting in the uh, lateral forces right here. So you see we've got two lateral forces in those two sections of the right when we're rolling into the stall and right when we're coming out of it, which makes sense. There's some lats on this uh, on these stalls, so it makes perfect sense. But you see, it's pretty simple. You just uh, take it down to zero Gs roughly. I just went a little bit below zero. And then you just roll into the stall right here, hold it at the top and then roll out of it. And then of course you go back to regular forces with the lats thrown in, just makes it a little bit more realistic. So this came out pretty well. If I were gonna do an RMC, uh, I would definitely put one of these in there because I like this element quite a bit. I'm actually thinking, I've been thinking and thinking and thinking about what my next ride is gonna be because I haven't done one in FVD in a while uh, or no limits. And uh, I definitely wanna include a stall in the next one I do. But you see, this is fairly simple. Uh, anyone can accomplish this just with uh, the lightest bit of experience in FED. So as always, I will have the track file in the uh, description down below so you can download that. You can also take a look at this uh, sort of untamed uh, outward bank turn going to the lift that I had. That was done with the geometric section. Uh, if you have anything you want to request, I will be happy to make it for you. I've still got some things I need to work on for some folks and I will get to that as soon as possible. But that's going to be it for this episode. Take care and enjoy the ride.